Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Matt, and today we're going to talk about how to pick out a healthy fish from your local fish store. So you're walking into your local fish store, there's a whole bunch of tanks. You take a look around, you see some fish that you like, how do you know if that fish is going to be healthy or not? I would definitely suggest quarantining any fish that you get from a, a fish store, be it online or local, um, just in case there's something, because there usually is something in the, the water at a fish store. One thing to keep in mind is that unlike your home aquarium, a fish store, they have a whole bunch of aquariums. So there may be not an unhealthy fish in the tank you're looking at, but it could be plumbed into a tank that has an unhealthy fish in it without you even knowing it. So it's very important to quarantine your fish when you get home. That said, you can do some things up front to make sure that you're getting a healthy specimen. So the most obvious thing to look for is that the fish is acting like it should. Uh, don't go to the fish store and pick out something you've never heard of. At the very least, pull out your phone, look up the name of it, see how it's supposed to be acting. Is it a tang? Is it supposed to be swimming around in the middle of the water column and sort of actively looking for things to eat? Uh, or is it maybe a scooter blenny that's supposed to be on the ground? Um, if a scooter blenny is floating around on the surface, that's probably not a good sign. If a tang is laying on its side on the ground, not a good sign. Don't pick out fish that aren't acting the way they normally should. I would definitely suggest, at the very least, Googling the name of the fish on your phone at the fish store. So you found a fish that seems to be acting right. Now take a look at its fins. Are the fins tattered? Are they torn? Um, or do they look sort of complete and as they, they normally you know, should on a healthy fish? Um, you don't want to find one or you don't want to buy one that has tattered fins that could be shipping damage or it could be uh, maybe like fin disease. There's several different kinds of diseases that can eat away at fins. Um, you don't want to get a fish that has fins that are clamped to its side. Um, fish should be swimming around and using the fins like, like you normally imagine a fish doing. If it's not using its fins and they're sort of just stationary, that's definitely a bad sign. Don't get fish that have spots on their fins. Um, ick, I have a video all about ick, I'll link it. Uh, you can see it often on fins because fins are so translucent to begin with. If there's little white specks on the fins, not a good sign. Maybe avoid that fish. Um, also, there's other things like black spots you can get on fins. Beyond just looking at the fins, look at the overall body shape of the fish. Uh, keep in mind that these fish have probably been through a very long transport. Um, I bought a Regal Angel the other day and um, have it in quarantine actually just right over here. And it uh, had been you know, flown in from who knows where, uh, South Pacific somewhere, Indian Ocean maybe. Um, the, the manager of the store said it had been in the store for four days. So that means you know, five days before it was at an importer, maybe a week before it was you know, on a plane from somewhere far off. It's been through quite a bit. Throughout all that, has the fish been eating? Take a look at its body shape. If it's plump still, that's a great sign. If the store can actually feed the fish for you and you can see that it's eating, that's an even better sign. Don't get one that is particularly thin. Um, sometimes you can see the ribs or the, the, even the bones through the surface of the fish. Um, unless you're feeling very confident that you can bring that fish back to health or maybe see it eating in the store, that could be a fish that might even be just too far gone to save. All right, so you've got a fish with healthy looking fins. It's swimming around acting normal in the water. Now it's time to look at the slime that's on the fish. Is it, does it look clear? Uh, can you see the, the fish through its sort of slime layer or not? Um, if it looks sort of cloudy on the skin, if it looks like it's got maybe some fluffy stuff growing on it, those are all signs of infections. You want to avoid fish that have abnormal coloration and cloudiness to their skin surface. Another quick thing that you can look at is the fish's eyes. Do they look clear? Your fish eyes, just like your eyes, should not be cloudy. They shouldn't be missing, although a missing eye in and of itself is not necessarily a death sentence for a fish. Um, there are a bunch of infections that can happen in the eye uh, called Popeye. Those things are treatable and often go away on their own. I wouldn't say that that's necessarily a horrible thing, but definitely look out for it. And if you can get one that's healthy that doesn't start with Popeye, definitely a better specimen to get. You should also look at the other fish that they have especially in that tank. Most of the time, local fish stores just don't have room to really house the fish the way they should be. So for example, my tank is a huge tank and I bought it such a big tank because I wanted to have an Achilles tank. 
Achilles tanks and tanks in general need very big tanks because they're active swimmers. Now, take that to your fish store. You probably have the equivalent of maybe a 10 or 20 gallon tank, and it has you know, a handful of tangs or 40 clownfish in it. Uh, these fish are going to be stressed, so you have to sort of imagine uh, you know, a step down off of normal behavior because they're going to be stressed just by having such small enclosures with so many other fish in it. But that's a good opportunity to look at the overall husbandry of the, of the fish store itself. Are there a bunch of dead fish in the tank? Um, are they things like mm, fish just sort of stuck to the, uh, you know, the water overflow? That's not a good sign. Um, you want to make sure that if you're going to invest money in your local fish store, that your fish store is taking care of these animals in an appropriate manner. So that's a great overview on what you can look for at a fish store. But maybe you wanna buy a fish that you can't find locally. I have the luxury of living in Los Angeles where most of the fish and coral come in uh, across from the, the world. Uh, and so our local fish stores have just about anything you could find. But say you want something more rare, maybe you want like a Tinker's butterfly fish or something like that, and you can't get it from your store. You can get it online. You can't, however, tell what your fish and the conditions they're being kept in are up front. So I would really recommend only shopping online from stores that sort of have a good reputation. Take a look at the survival guarantees that these stores give you, especially if you're buying more delicate or expensive fish from them. I hope this was interesting. I would always recommend to quarantine your fish when you get them home, even if you get one that has clear fins, is acting normal, is eating, uh, isn't emaciated, uh, has no weird spots on its skin, no fluffy growths. Um, even if all those things are true, you still wanna quarantine when you get home. Um, let me know, I'm curious if you have other things that you look for in local fish stores when you're picking out a fish. I'd be really curious to see if any of you have sort of interesting stories about fish stores or um, you know, interesting finds that you found uh, in ways to tell that a fish is healthy. I'm curious, let me know. Talk to you next time, bye.